Hey, what's going on, Warriors? I am just here this morning to report to you um, and to ask for prayers and good vibes and energy to be sent out to our girl, Tamar Braxton. Tamar was taken to the hospital in Los Angeles after being found unresponsive. And her uh, boyfriend, David uh, Adefeso, in his he stays at the Ritz-Carlton uh, in downtown L.A., and she was staying with him when he found her unresponsive. Um, it's being reported that he called 911 saying that Tamar had been drinking and had taken an unknown amount of prescription pills. Uh, sources also say ambulances arrived at the hotel and took her to the hospital. Um, sources are stating that David believes it to be a suicide attempt. I received a call around 9.45 p.m., reporting that a female had emergency, a medical emergency listed as an overdose. Tamar's condition has been reported as stable, however, still unresponsive. A spokesperson for the singer stated that Tamar had a very tough and emotional day. More information will be coming in the next few days. Please pray for her. You guys, Tamar was seemingly doing okay. She had a YouTube show um, that she has with David called Coupled and Quarantined. It was scheduled to air on last night on Thursday, but instead there was a message that read, Hey, y- hello, y'all. Unfortunately, your girl Tamar is under the weather today and not feeling well. So we need to postpone today's show. Don't worry, it's not COVID. We're sad because we had a great show lined up for you today, but next week's show is going to be even bigger and better. So sorry for the inconvenience. We know many of you look forward to the show every week. We'll make it up to you next week. Tamar was also had Tamar also had a new reality show uh, to, called "To Catch a Beautician" on VH1. If I'm honest, I have not caught a single episode of it. I'm not even sure how it's doing, um, but I was just happy and rooting for her to finally have something for herself. Um, outside of any TV shows with her siblings or um, the real, I, I just was happy for her to have something that just was for her. Um, we really have to take a look at the way things are going. 2020 has not been great. This information also comes on the hills of losing Naya Rivera. And again, if I'm honest, that situation still seems uh, a little fishy to me, considering Naya has also struggled before with some mental mental illness. Mental illness is very real. I, too, was a struggler of depression and anxiety, and I know that you have to do whatever you can to work through those feelings and emotions, especially in a time right now, you guys, where we are all living in unprecedented times. We are being forced to live with ourselves. We are being forced to look inward on a lot of things with this quarantine. And so I am just asking that you continue to lift each other up, check on people a little bit more often, love on folks a little bit more, live for yourself, if anything, because I mean, It is truly here today, gone today. So just don't waste any time on things that mean nothing. You're seeing it every day. This year is making us see things for what it is every day. And I feel like this is a time where God is trying to sit you down. And he's trying to tell us he's for one, not pleased with a lot of things. And for two, a a time he wants us to self-reflect and get right. So let's continue to send good vibes and prayers up for our girl, Tamar. Tamar has had several challenges. We've seen her go through things from the divorce with Vincent. We've seen issues um, where she's brought up past issues of abuse that she's had at the hands of boyfriends. Tamar has uh, had a turbulent relationship 
at times with her siblings, some some things, underlying things with her mother and father. She has gone through a lot. And if you really pay attention and watch, you know that she has always been someone to me who's crying out for help. The loud antics, the behaviors, the things that she used to do were cries for attention and help. Here lately, I thought she was bringing it together. Uh, She was changing. I liked the side of her that David was bringing out. And I, I just hate to see her in a situation like this, but we never know what anybody is going through. So just continue to pray and I will update you guys as much as I know. All right. Have a very happy Friday. Love and light warriors.